Oh. You guys feel like going on a road trip today? I do. Let's do it. Welcome to this episode of Matt's Red Show. You're in the back. What's going on, gang? You're in the front, right there. You're on my noggin. You're everywhere. We're going on a roadie. Come on, let's do it. First, oh yeah, the Sinking Barn. Our first stop today is uh, something called the Sinking Barn. Supposedly it's like the most photographed barn in the entire state of Minnesota. So uh, it's supposed to be kind of like sinking in a lake. So it's a barn sinking in a lake. So let's go take a look. Okay. They've got a wood sign down there. Wonder what it used to say. It said, there's a barn over here, and it's sinking. I'm cruising on down to the lake here. We're on the side of a busy road. There's like 50,000 people crossing me. It's really annoying because it's horrible for sound. It's a barn. It's sinking into the lake. Why would you build a barn there? It's a, a stinking, sinking barn. What are you doing? What are you doing sticking in that lake, barn? Cool, actually. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let's keep going. We've got like a thousand people on this road right here. It's supposed to be the busiest highway in America. It's just Highway 4 near Zimmerman. I thought it'd be like nobody here. Like 5,000 people on the side of this road. Anyways, let's get back in my car. Let's keep going. Let's keep going north. We're headed north today, folks. We're just gonna see what we can see, see what we can find, see what we can dig up. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, that was pretty cool. Our next stop uh, along our little road trip is going to be, uh, have you ever been to a uh, Happy Chef? The Happy Chefs are pretty cool. They, they make me happy. They got pretty good food at Happy Chefs. Um, but they also usually have these ginormous kind of Happy Chef characters out in front. These gigantic dudes that are kind of squatting and holding up a spoon. I don't know why they're kind of squatting, but they are. And they're kind of fun. Uh, every time me and Ashley go out to visit her parents' house, we always stop outside of Mankato to go to the Happy Chef out there. Well, not always, but a lot of the times we do. And there's like a ha another Happy Chef guy up in this area, these parts, and uh, it's pretty cool too. So we're gonna take a look at him. Uh, so let's go take a look at him now, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> So we're back. We 
if you like the little happy chef guy. I thought he was pretty cool. I was kind of bummed out that the uh, trailer was parked in front of him, but what are you going to do? You just got to roll with the punches. Let's keep heading north. Um, the next thing is a place called, uh, it's, a, it's like a roadside place. It's called like Mosquito something rather. Something about mosquitoes. There's supposed to be a big mosquito there. So let's go take a look at the big mosquito. Guys, uh, so there's a big, there's a picture of this ginormous mosquito that I saw on this website, and and then it's, you know, I mean it's bigger than a normal mosquito, but it's not, it's not that big. But anyway, let's take a look. Anyway, it's right here. It's a big mosquito. that mud right there. Oops. <laughs> Good old chug in there. It does appear that this place is definitely closed for the season. It's probably gonna be opening up pretty soon. But in Minnesota, we're still in that season right now where you could get a huge snowfall at any time. So places like this just tend to kind of close up shop until it's guaranteed there'll be no more snow. So it looks like this place, I might have to figure out what's going on at this place. It looks like they have some fun out here in season so we'll have to come back check it out in season looks like they've got a looks like they got a throwing throwing stump right there or something we got a teepee right here a teepee wonder if we can go in it let's see if we can go in it go to teepee oh wow Oh, cool. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's like legit teepee in here. You never know, like, what's, when you're gonna like, when you're doing these episodes, like, if you're just gonna find yourself inside of a teepee. And a roadside attraction. Pretty cool. Let's get out of this teepee. Okay, so we were in a teepee, now we're not in a teepee. Hi teepee. It's a pretty cool teepee. Cool. Cool little fiberglass boat. That'd be fun to cruise around in. Take off the wagon wheel, you got yourself a deal. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful heart. Pee at the pee. Holy cow, 
drop brakes to pee. about the Rum River. This is like where we're traveling. We're basically traveling up the Rum River, around this lake, and back today. That's what we're doing on this here episode. I feel one million times better. <sighs> Let's keep going. I believe our next thing we're gonna take a look at is a gigantic walleye. Uh, I read somewhere that it's the world's biggest walleye. I kind of have my doubts about that just because everybody claims that. But anyway, it's supposed to be pretty cool, so we're gonna get a little further north on the lake. We should be able to see the lake pretty soon. And uh, yeah, it should be a gigantic walleye to take a look at. Let's go take a look at a gigantic walleye. Here. We're up here, Lake Mille Lacs. Looks like it's pretty frozen still, though it looks like the ice is beginning to move out. Cold out there. Cold and dangerous. This area claims to be the walleye capital of the world. But I do believe there's some other places out there that claim to be the walleye capital of the world. And because they claimed this area, the walleye capital of the world, and supposedly there's some really good walleye fishing in this lake, they have placed a gigantic walleye. It might be the biggest walleye in the world. I don't know if they claim that or not, but it's uh, technically the walleye capital of the world. Oh, I'd say there's some pretty good fish in that lake over there, eh? Boy, I, I'd say that too. Who are you talking to, mate? I'm talking to myself. What do we have here? It's a gigantic walleye there, eh? My goodness there. Look at the size of this here walleye. Holy cow. Look at this thing. That's a big one. Let's take a look. Granted, my car is further away, but not that much further away. Check this thing out, dude. This thing is like legit painted, like really good. Look at the fine artwork. Some massive tail whipping around here. You got like different colored scales and stuff on it. That's some pretty, that's some decent paint job. I'm really impressed with the quality of this paint job on this walleye. Usually these, these things are like just beaten down by the weather and there's like really some crummy paint job, but this thing has got like a legit, could be on a car or a hot rod paint job. Well done, whoever painted this. I 
think I have filmed this walleye long enough here, folks. <laughs> it's just a gigantic walleye. I don't know what it is about gigantic things that I like, but I just enjoy filming them. So thanks for coming along on this episode, you guys. I enjoy it. We've got one more gigantic uh, statue to film, and uh, it's, uh, it's a surprise. So that's our next stop. Well, let's go check it out. guys I love this kind of stuff you know that from my boat graveyard episode there's another boat just in the middle of nowhere just rotting away it's another boat graveyard sort of it's just one boat but still there she is just sitting there Looks like it was an old tour boat that they got. They got speakers and stuff up there. Probably used to give tours. Let's see if we can get in the back. Let's see if we can get through these, uh, these bushes here. Get a good shot of the back of this thing. Sweet. Love boat. Port Garrison love boat. Aw, poor thing. Looks like it needs some love. It's all rotten out on the bottom.
These statues always look a little bit stoned. He's like, Ooh, what is that? Is that a camera? Ooh. Right, Mr. Robin Hood. Dang, Robin with the green sneakers. Sporting a nice beard there, Robin. Sweet bow staff skills. Actual, actual string actually works.